Hello, idiots of the internet, and welcome to Jurassic World. Now, this is this island here. Um, this island's cancer. Don't go there. This island and this island have obviously already done. Um, but once you get far, four stars with this one, the first island you get, you get this. And this is Isla Nubla, is the island where it all began, where both Jurassic Park and Jurassic the world were built so you know but it's a sandbox so these are like story based missions I think and this I believe is a sandbox so oh available cash is unlimited we're going to that sandbox My story with the dinosaurs began here at Isla Nublar. This island is where I came to first question everything I knew, everything I held dear. Not because that what happened here was impossible. Obviously it wasn't. I'd say we can't live in the past, but that's kind of what we do, isn't it? I guess if we can bring back extinct animals, why not bring back extinct parks? Okay, so it has an unlimited budget. You can access a variety of different gameplay settings from sandbox settings in the options menu, including options for weather, disease, and time of day. Um, use all your currently available assets on Isla Nubla. Uh, return to operations on Las Cinco Muertes to unlock more. Okay. Awesome freaking source. So this is our play area, so we can fit everything possible here. So <laughs> time to start our park. Now um all the water it, literally everything's just gonna change. It's gonna change. Um so we don't need to worry about what water is current here because we can just put in more water. Um so what I what I would like um, is like a central welcome to the park place. Okay, um, is this inside the boundary? It is not inside the boundary. That's actually kind of annoying because there's a thing such as a monorail, but now it's outside of the build area, so I can't attach it to this monorail and then start going from. Ugh. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, uh, let us, let's pause, remove this water here, okay? Because we don't need it. Um, let us get a nice, big, fancy place. Uh, we'll make it straight. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll have all of our beginning bits here on this place. See, it doesn't it doesn't attach like everything else does. Uh, maybe we should put the the hotel here, or or should we have the hotel like further up? Hmm. Now we'll start off with the hotel. Right here, and it'll be this hotel. Bang right over there. Okay. Then uh, we obviously need a path to get to it. So we will do that, and then from there, like that. I guess that's nice, but not really. Um, then, yes, I will get to power, don't worry. Gift shop. See, now these these attach to the path, which is very nice. If you just point at the path, it slaps itself onto it. So we'll have a gift shop and fast food. Because let's be real, the first thing you want when you walk in is a gift shop and a fast food. And then an arcade. These are all unlocked by playing the main islands, by the way. Um, so, 
play that. As you can see, I still have two to unlock. Um, but, you know, I'm not... I'm not Jesus. Um, it takes quite a while. Why? What is that obstructed by? Looks like we'll have to go here. Um, and the, the restaurant. Okay, awesome source. So those are our opening places. The so people immediately have things to go to as they start, right? Um, I also want a monorail station right here. Unless we actually do it here. Like that. And then we can connect a path up. Like so. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> See, I don't want to have power right by all of this stuff. So we can put power up here, I think. Um, in which case, bye bye water. But my, my feeling in this is because you see how it's surrounded, it's difficult to, to get any visibility of an enclosure in here. So if we put power in there, I feel like it's the most value for money. Let us shove it right there. Um, yes, I know the track is incomplete. That You're going to see that for a while, by the way. Let's do that. And... What's it obstructed by? Oh, we can put one here. Like that. Okay. Then, just connect all of those together. There we go. So those now all speak to each other. And we'll have a regular path just for... up until a point, right? Uh, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Okay, so then we need a fancy fancy which which can change. So this this at the moment is very, very rough. Uh, okay, so this will change. This will probably change because I'll be putting enclosures and different things, but I just needed a path connection. Then we need a pylon. So let's let's take the pylon from this side. And we will move these pylons as close to the border as possible. And then we'll take a large substation, right? And we'll slap it just here. Like that. There we go, that connects. Perfect. So now they all have power. All of this is now activated and ready to be used by everybody on the island. Okay. Now, 
uh, if we go into these, you'll be able to see that you can change what you're selling, how much you want to sell it for, you can manage your staff, so the more staff you have, the more guests you can fit inside this. Um, and then you can go management views, drink, food, fun, attraction, finances, whatever. So, yeah. Um, right. Now, I, I think I think because we've we've gotten basically all that we want for our guests, let us get in some beautiful, 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 beautiful dinosaurs.